Hey Aquarius, Rising Storm here. So I'm about to do your general love reading for now until the end of November. Keep in mind that these are general readings. Sacred applies. Feel free to switch the storyline to however you would like, alright? So I'm going to be looking into your overall view, your energies, Aquarius, the person that you're dealing with, right? Why is it all happening? And the possible outcome for now until the end of November 2022. What is going on with Aquarius and the person that Aquarius is dealing with, please? The Ten of Cups, that's the overall view here. We'll see what's happening. Getting over something? Oh. Page of Cups, the Sun. We're done with the Leo. What is this Ten of Cups or a water sign? I got Gemini here too. What is this Ten of Cups about? Show me the Ten of Cups. Yeah, somebody here. There's The overall view is someone here coming back around to have like this relationship or come back together to have this uh you know happy home this happy relationship i'm getting somebody here still wanting to come back around or at least that's the overall energy of wanting to still emotionally having walked away from this still wanting to reconnect or come together in a happy way or in a relationship type like way i don't know what is this five of cups in reverse show me the five of cups in reverse please so it, you go from kind of getting over it. So I'm getting you in this energy of getting woman. It's like you're over the disappointment or you, you feel like you're over the connection or it's, you know, there's no more love there or there's some sort of falling out. You go from there. See, you go from acting like oh you're over this, like it's not really bothering you to wanting to get back together with this person or feeling some sort of strong pull towards them okay show me the lovers show me the lovers card yeah the knight of pentacles so it's kind of like you go from act like one minute you're over this it's not bothering you anymore or you know that's over and done with the connection is no longer there you go from there to wanting to come together with this person and become more stable um, why is that lover's card there? Yeah, the knight of swords. You go from just wanting to rush in towards this person to come together with them or reconnect with them. So it's like one minute you're over this, the next minute you want to come together and reconnect and just rush towards them to, you know, communicate with them or get back together. Your person has the Page of Cups, so the Sun card. You could be done with someone younger, doesn't have to be, okay? But you could be done with the Leo as well, doesn't have to be. But show me this Page of Cups. Show me the Page of Cups here. Yeah, whoever this is, this is somebody who wants to come in with some sort of offer. Okay, they, they still have feelings for you. They, this is somebody who definitely wants to express how they feel towards you or so, express some sort of an apology or at least have some sort of communication or keep the lines of communication open. I'm getting that this is someone who's still very much passionate about you as well. Show me the sun card. Show me the sun. Why the sun card here? And the two of swords, but they're... They're very, whoever this is, this is someone who's very indecisive though, or they tend to be their, oh, what is this? Show me that two of swords there. And the king of cups. So it's kind of like they do have deep feelings for you, but it's like they're very indecisive when it comes to this at the same time. What is this? What is this sun card? Show me the sun card. Show me the sun card. In the magician. So it's kind of like they, a part of them definitely does want to make this happen with you or they want to make things work, but they feel stuck or they feel trapped in their head, in their, their own mind. They're very indecisive, um, even though they do have deep feelings for you. What? They feel stuck in a way. Why the sun card? There's, there could have been more than one person surrounding this whole situation. I feel like whoever this is, they definitely do have deep feelings for you, but it's like there's things are at a halt, things are stagnant, okay? It's kind of like they want to make things happen, but they feel stuck for some reason, and it's kind of like they have feelings for you, but they're very indecisive right now or closed off. What? 
Show me this King of Pentacles for why it's all happening. What is this King of Pentacles? It's all happening due to heartbreak. So there's this energy of wanting things to be serious, right? Wanting to be more stable, but there's heartbreak here. Could have been a third party situation. Show me this Two of Swords. Show me the Two of Swords, please. Show me the Two of Swords. Yeah, they don't. They're very indecisive whether they should come back around at the same time. So this is someone who they're they're very stuck in their head. They overthink a lot. They're very indecisive as to come to coming back around towards you. This is someone who hasn't really moved past you still. With that two of swords and the six of swords in reverse there. There could have been some sort of heartbreak or some sort of pain hurt that happened here. Um, how does Aquarius see this person? How does Aquarius see this person? Show me, please. Then seven of wands in reverse. Why the seven of wands in reverse? So you see this person... So you, you're, you're like, you see them as someone that you're not fighting for or you're, you're giving up or you feel like maybe they've given up on you, but you see this person as someone like, oh, okay, like good riddance. I, this is a wish fulfillment that I'm not fighting for this connection or I'm not doing much to keep this connection or I'm letting this go. It's like, you see this person as someone as like, you're just letting it go and everything's okay. Or it's a wish fulfillment, but I don't think that's the case. Why is that seven of wands in reverse there? Four of wands, things were just really unstable. I feel like you see this person as someone that you're still thinking about or you still have on your mind. They could have been a player or somebody here could have been very in and out or player, player, playboy, playgirl type of, of uh, energy here. Um, how does this person see Aquarius? What can you tell me? How does this person see Aquarius? How does this person see Aquarius? They see you as the Seven of Swords. Why the Seven of Swords? Why the Seven of Swords? What in the world? And the King of Wands. So they see you... Why is the Seven of Swords there? They see you, you know, it's, I don't know what happened here, but they see you as the one who's being deceptive here. They see you as the one who's being deceptive when it comes to this. The Seven of Swords to the King of Wands. I don't know what's going on here. They see you as someone who is being sneaky. Why is the Seven of Swords? Why the Seven of Swords? And the Six of Wands in reverse. Why the Seven of Swords? King of Cups. Somebody here had more than one person here. I don't know what this is about. So they see you as someone who's very sneaky, okay, or someone, um, I feel like they there's passion that they have for you still with that king of wands there, but they feel like they see you as someone who either got attention from other people, okay, uh, they see you as someone who's very deceptive, sneaky, doesn't speak their truth, okay, and it's like they're, close, they're very indecisive whether they should return, So they see you as someone, they, okay, all right. And for another storyline for how does Gemini see the person that they're dealing with, Gemini, for some of you may see this person as someone who um, is happy, the fact that they're not fighting for this connection, or maybe you, you feel like this is someone who is very much 
completely fine with not fighting for this connection or is a wish for it's a wish fulfillment not to deal with this or at least you see them that way i don't know what are gem um you can be them with a gemini what are aquarius's next actions when it comes to this person what are aquarius's next actions when it comes to this person if not yet already if not yet already what can you tell me Four swords. Why the four swords? So their next actions is to keep distant from you. Okay? Their next actions is to be distant, to not really come together with you in regards to an emotional way. I feel like their next actions is to be very distant, contemplate a lot of things here. I feel like one minute they're they're over it, the next minute they're not. Okay. Their next actions is to be completely withdrawn physically, emotionally, keep distant with that four of um, swords to the three of cups in reverse there. So it's like they're going to be keeping to themselves. So what are this person's next actions if not yet already towards Aquarius? What are this person's next actions if not yet already towards Aquarius? Queen of Cups. Why the Queen of Cups? And the Empress card. Why the hell? Why the Queen of Cups and the Empress card? So maybe they're maybe if not yet already, maybe this person try expressing their feelings or trying to have try to, you know, grow the situation, try to get things off the ground, try to make things happen, try to nurture the connection, or express some sort of feelings in the past or whatever the case may be. So I I'm getting like this is someone who at least tried to come together or make things work. We're dealing with a Libra. Um, what are um, what are Aquarius's true intentions when it comes to this person? What are Aquarius's true intentions when it comes to this person? The Two of Cups in reverse. Why the Two of Cups in reverse for? And the Nine of Swords. So. It's kind of like their intentions to act like they're over it or the, their intentions is to act like it's not bothering them like the, it's they're not in their head about this okay um their intentions is to act like everything is fine or they're not bothered by this like they used to be okay but I don't feel like that's true I feel like they're still going to be very much overthinking the situation, very much flippy, floppy when it comes to their energy. One moment they're over it, the next moment they would just want to come together. Uh, this this person acts like they're not, like they're it's like everything's fine or it's not bothering them, but that's not the case. Okay. So what is this person's true intentions with Aquarius? What can you tell me? What is this person's true intentions with Aquarius? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Why is that Ten of Pentacles in reverse there? The Magician in reverse. Why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse for? The Ten of Wands. Their intentions is to not be committed to this or have, their intentions is to not be committed when it comes to this. Okay, not being, not be committed. Not in the world. This is so, why is that ton of pentacles there? Their intentions is to not fight for this though. Not really commit to this connection with that ton of pentacles in reverse. If anything, not fighting for it. Um, their intentions is to basically not really put any en much energy into this. But at the same time, there's this feeling of being stuck or feeling trapped or overthinking. So their intentions is to really not have, not really make, have, uh, you know, like a committed or something being long term or not com be committed to the situation. But there's a sense of feeling stuck or overthinking. Okay. What's the possible outcome here for now until the end of November for the situation? What can you tell me? What's the possible outcome here for now until the end of November? Ten of Wands, feeling a burden or feeling stressed out by this. Okay, what's the outcome here? 
the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Why is all this happening? The Ten of Swords could have been some sort of betrayal, all right, or some sort of ending. Show me the Ten of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. So there's going to be this heavy energy or heavy feeling of wanting to come together or wanting to be on the same page here. Why is that Four of Cups there? The Devil card. This is not healthy. What in the hell? Why is that Four of Cups there? Why is that Ace of Pentacles in reverse? I don't... I see... Uh, the, uh, it's a very on and off thing here. Why is that Ten of Swords? The Six of Wands in reverse. Things failed. There was an ending. Things failed. There weren't, things weren't successful. I'm getting this energy of feeling burdened or weighing heavy or weighed down in regards to coming together or being on the same page here. Um, what is this Four of Cups? <clears throat> I do get I do get somebody here coming back around, but I'm getting that there's this energy of someone uh, acting like they're not interested or acting like they're not wanting to take up an offer here with that four of cups there. I'm getting somebody here acting very cold or very detached or not really feeding this. And they're gonna be somebody here is gonna be making a decision not to really have a new beginning or not to really get things off the ground. I don't know if this is making sense. It's like I do see communication on some sort or I do see somebody here returning but it's like someone here acts like they're not interested or they're bored with this with this connection or there's going to be some sort of judgment call in regards to not taking things to the next step or not really having a new beginning here. So that's what I get. Okay, if it resonated, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you on the next one. Bye.